the memory of Mohammad Amin Rasulzadeh, the founder of the Azerbaijan People's Republic, the first democratic republic in the Muslim East, always lives and will always live in the hearts of the Azerbaijani people. Mohammad Amin Rasulzadeh was a great Azerbaijani statesman, politician, journalist. His expression the flag once raised shall never fall. Became the motto of the independence movement in Azerbaijan in the early 20th century. He was the president of Azerbaijani National Council from May 27, 1918 to December 7, 1918. Early life. Born at Novkani, near Baku, on January 31, 1884, Muhammad Amin Rasul Zaid received his education at the Russian Muslim Secondary School and then at the Technical College in Baku. In his years of study he created Muslim youth organization Musavat, first secret organization in Azerbaijan's contemporary history, and beginning from 1903 Rasul Zadeh began writing articles in various opposition newspapers and magazines. At that time, his anti-monarchist platform and his demands for the national autonomy of Azerbaijan, aligned him with social democrats and future communists. In 1904 he founded the first Muslim social democrat organization Hummet and became editor-in-chief of its newspapers. His dramatic play titled The Lights in the Darkness was staged in Baku in 1908. Rasulzadeh and his co-workers were representatives of the Azerbaijani intelligentsia. Most of them, including Rasulzadeh himself, had been members of the Baku organization of the Russian Social Democratic Workers' Party in 1905. During the First Russian Revolution, 1905-1907, Rasulzadeh actively participated in revolutionary developments. As the story goes, it was Rasulzadeh who saved young Joseph Stalin in 1905 in Baku, when police were searching for the latter as an active instigator of riots. It is interesting that in 1905, rich people in the Balakan oil fields wanted to throw Stalin into the oil well because he invited the workers to strike, but Mohammad Amin Rasulzadeh saved him from death. He was also the organizer of Stalin's escape from Bayel prison by members of Musavat party. In 1909, under the persecution from Tsarist authorities, Rasul's Ade fled Baku to participate in the Iranian Constitutional Revolution of 1905-1911. While in Iran, Rasul Zade became one of the founders of Democrat Party of Persia. In 1911, Rasul Zade published his book called Happiness of Mankind in Defense of the Revolution. Rasul Zade was fluent in Persian. After Russian troops entered Iran in 1911, Rasul Zade fled to Istanbul, then capital of Ottoman Empire. The Musavat Party and Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. After the Amnesty Act of 1913, dedicated to the 300th anniversary of the Romanov dynasty, Rasul Zade returned to Baku, left the Hamid party he was previously member of, and joined the then secret Musavat party in 1913, established in 1911, which initially promoted pan-Islamist, pan-Turkist and socialist ideas, and which eventually became Azerbaijani Nationalist Party, and quickly became its chief. The word Musavat means equality. In 1915 he started to publish the party's newspaper called Open Word, which lasted until 1918. When the February Revolution happened, Musavat together with other secret political parties in the Russian Empire, were quickly legalized and became a leading party of Caucasian Muslims after it merged with party of Turkic Federalists headed by Nazi Bujvbeli. The October Revolution in 1917 led to the secession of Transcaucasia from Russia and Rasulzadeh became head of Muslim faction in the Seam, the parliament of the Transcaucasian Federation. After the dissolution of the Transcaucasian Federation, the Muslim faction reorganized into the Azerbaijani National Council, whose head Rasulzadeh was unanimously elected in May 1918. 
On May 28, 1918 the Azerbaijani National Council, headed by Rasul Zadeh, declared an independent Azerbaijan Republic. Rasul Zadeh also initiated the establishment of Baku State University together with Rashid Khan Gaplanov, Minister of Education with the funding of oil baron Haji Zinilabdin Tagheev in 1919. Rasul Zadeh taught Ottoman literature at the university. After the collapse of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic in April 1920, Rasul Zaid left Baku and went into hiding in the mountainous village of Lachsi, Ismaili to direct the resistance to Sovietization. But in August 1920, after the Soviet Russian army crushed the rebellions of Ganja, Karabakh, Zagatala, and Longkaran, led by ex-officers of the Azerbaijani National Army, Rasul Zadeh was arrested and brought to Baku. It was only due to an earlier rescue of Joseph Stalin, as Rasul Zadeh hid Stalin from the police, that Rasul Zadeh was released and transferred from Azerbaijan to Russia. For the next two years, Rasul Zadeh worked as the press representative at the Commissariat on Nations in Moscow. He was sent to St. Petersburg in 1922 from where he escaped to Finland. Exile. For the rest of his life, Rasul Zadeh lived in exile first in Turkey. However, the 1931 suppression of the emigre publications coincided with Rasul Zadeh's expulsion from Turkey, and some saw it as the result of caving into Soviet pressure. Thus, he went to Poland in 1938, where he met his wife, Wanda, niece of Polish statesman Józef Bilsudski, then to Romania in 1940. Finally, after World War II, he went back to Ankara, Turkey in 1947. In his appeal to Azerbaijani people in 1953 through Voice of America, he stressed his hope that one day it will become independent again. He died on March 6, 1955, and was buried in Ankara. On May 28, 1918, the Azerbaijani National Council, headed by Rasul Zadeh, declared an independent Azerbaijan Republic. And even though after the establishment of the parliament Rasul Zadeh never held any governmental post in either of the cabinets of ministers, as an active member of the parliament he remained a kind of ideological leader of the newly formed state until its collapse in May 1920. The banner of liberty once hoisted will never be lowered again. This famous phrase by Rasul Zadeh would later become one of the most popular Azerbaijani slogans during the demonstrations of the 1990s, set on the eve of the collapse of the Soviet Union. In the more than 30 years spent in exile, Rasul Zadeh published a number of serious political works dedicated to Azerbaijan. His literary legacy still calls for sound analysis and thorough evaluation. Rasul Zadeh was a famous Azerbaijani statesman, public figure and one of the founding political leaders of the first Azerbaijan Republic. We honor his memory with great respect. Thanks for watching the video until the end. We invite you to click the like button, share the video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the notification icon. If you like this video, you can also watch our other videos and enjoy them. Bye.